Hello, I'm Boone and welcome to episode 5, season 5 already, of my adventure on FM24 with the mighty Nash, Curzon Ashton. As always, thanks for joining me, it's massively appreciated, I love you long time. Hit that thumbs up, get involved in the comments, subscribe if you're new and hit that bell and you'll never miss anything I do, you beautiful, beautiful person you. We've got another season, and yes, we're in the Football League, the Football Ball League. I have flown at this stage quite a few times. My friend Joe Page going to touch me after watching the last episode saying he flew at this stage of Alfreighton. I'll be happy to fly. I'll also be happy just to stay in the league because things are going to get a bit tougher, aren't they? But I had a plan really. Maybe I'm stupid for it, but I had a plan. So let's get into it. So here we are at the start of the season. Pre-season is done and we are in the Sky Bet League 2, and we did, of course, we had to turn professional. Contracts went up everywhere. The money's going to go up everywhere. You're going to make money this year. Well, for us, we're going to make big money. We're going to spend big money as well. Not on players, just on running this club. Now it's in the Football League, and also a bit of infrastructure, which hopefully I'll remember to talk about later. But yeah, wow. Sky Bet League 2. After three years in and off, last year just felt like it flew by. Now I've made a couple of signings, but only a few, because there was a lot of players out there, and I was like, wow, this is awesome. And a lot of them, not to, to turn us down, there was some of the players I was going for, they had choices between other clubs in this division who were bigger, or League One clubs. One player actually chose a team in the National, which was great, but I got my hands on a couple, but my idea anyway was to give the boys a chance. They were so good last year to fly through that league, and I made a lot of changes last year. I think it was 16 new players, and they were so good. And at the end of the season, their form, and the fact that they just flew through them playoffs, it was honestly, it still gives me a buzz. I got so much enjoyment out of it. It's why I love this game. Um, so I think they all deserve a chance to be football league professional players. They've all quit the jobs. I've quit my job, I'm not a bus driver anymore, I wish, unfortunately I am, and I've got a bus sale for you in the live com. Um, so just a couple of new players, five-ish. Uh, we've got Michael McCarthy, 18 years old, released by Newcastle, can play centre half and cover it right back. Lewis Joseph Crooks, released by Aston Villa, decent little player, young as well, because things change in this league, I'll talk about it in a minute. Um, up front, right wing. Jason Bryan, another young defender released by Arsenal. A midfielder who I think looks pretty good. His physicals are low, but he's 18. They'll get better. I think he's a good little player released by Chelsea. It's Nick Shaw. And next, we've signed Gordon Brown. Not the former Labour Prime Minister. In my opinion, one of the worst Prime Ministers and Chancellors ever. Put this country in the ground. I will never forgive him. Um, but anyway, no. It's this Gordon Brown. A regen released by Leicester, who I think... All right, his teamwork, his vision, his work, that kind of stuff, forget about it. But he's already got decent physicals. He, he looks fantastic, doesn't he? What a defender. I'm in a bit of competition for him. He was the one I thought we wouldn't get, but we did. Now, we've got a lot of youth players. There's not a lot going on down here, I'll be honest with you. There's a few, bit of potential, but there's three players from last year I'm trying to get rid of. Can't just yet. Hopefully, we do at some point. We've got Lucas Wayne. Um, we've also got Alex. Youth. Uh, can't get rid of him yet. And Sam Dreyer. Um, struggling. No one wants to pay the wages. They're not on a lot. So this is a squad arranged by age and Cameron Mason, I'm never letting you go, mate. You're going to rot at my club. I like him too much. Um, he's staying as my third choice goalkeeper. Now, obviously, a lot of the wages went up. They're all professional players now, which is fantastic. But what else is fantastic is the age of this squad, really. Forget granddad Cam Mason. Uh, you've got Isaac Sinclair at 26. is the next oldest. A um, couple of 24s. But look how young it is. And a lot of that's from last year. And yes... He was so good in the run-up to the playoffs and in the playoffs. Fuck it. I'll give him a new contract. It was just too bloody good for me. I'm being soft in this series. I'm usually quite cold and calculated. But I'm being soft. Um, a lot of these guys need a chance. A lot of them are unhappy. Yeah, they wanted to play more last year and they stuck here. Tough shit. <laughs> I wanted to go for it. Why not? Challenge myself. See what happens. Um, but also, the good thing about having a young age is once you get into the Football League, you're only allowed a 22-man squad. But anyone under 21, you don't have to count them. So this first season, I can have this big whopping squad. Look at it. I don't even how many. I mean, how many players are there? Do you know what? I generally haven't even counted. I know I've got quite a few. Let's have a look. 26. Look at it. Depth. You know what I mean? We might need it now. Now I was quite realistic. I've done this kind of thing before, and I'm also realistic by the, by the size of Kurz and Ashton. I don't want to go silly and waste any money now. I could have another coach there, but I don't bother. 
I leave it. I could have a head of sports science, but I don't bother yet. I just think, do you know what? It's decent enough. Uh, that doesn't sound like me, I know. But for this first year, let's just not rock the boat too much. My main squad is there still. They can, they've got connections. They've got, they know each other. That might really help us, you know, this year. Now, of course, they just want us to fight bravely against relegation. We're in the FA Cup. Can't wait for a bit of that. We did quite well last year. We're in the Carabao Cup now. Check us out. And we've got the Papa John's Trophy. So there's a lot to play. A lot of football. Um, yeah. And this, this season's been... It's been the toughest. It's back to my old ways because I got back to work after the last episode. But luckily, I was in back in work for three days. And I've had the weekend off. Um, so this should be coming out on Sunday. But it's, it's back to like I normally do it. You know, I've got a good three hours here. Three hours in the morning. Three hours till fucking one in the morning. I'm hardcore. I'm back to being hardcore. <laughs> I'm missing my holiday already. So when it came to the pre-season friendlies, I wasn't happy with what he selected. So I scrapped it and then I forgot instantly to sort some because I was busy trying to sign a player, I think. And then I realised, oh shit, I've got no friendlies. And I could only squeeze three in. So I decided to do Rangers and Celtic B because they were available and Radcliffe. And we didn't get beat. We did destroy Rangers. Sorry, Brian Kane. And then uh, Drew with Celtic. But it's all right. I know I know a lot of these lads. A lot of them youngsters are coming in to help. I think Gordon Brown is a baller. Uh, and I've got ballers in this team. Now, I don't fully agree with this 11, but it's pretty, it's pretty much there. I think I like Shaw in the middle now. But we, no, striker wise, we've got James Price, who's brilliant, got better. Everyone knows about Colby Moore now. He's a freaking hero with this series. Josh Scott, I think he's my captain. I mean, they're not they're not out of this world, are they? Kareem Hamed, who's now fully fledged in that position. Mr. Susuho. A couple of people commented on him because he's five foot nine. Now I've proven in this game, I don't give a shit about height. It's about your ability. Do you know what I mean? I did that once because Greeno's mentioned it as well. He hates short players, especially in goal and defence. And I proved in one of my stories last year, and there's a wonder kid goalkeeper in one of them, and I made him super small. And he was still amazing. And he was amazing for me. I don't care about height half the time. I look at other areas. Do you know what I mean? Don't be a heightist. You know, size doesn't matter. I said that to Greeno. His wife tells him that all the time when he's in bed looking at himself. Size doesn't matter, Greeno. It's what you do with it. So yes facilities we're getting a boost and that's where a lot of my money went they spent a good chunk of change that we haven't really got to boost the stadium by one and a half thousand seats and that's another thing i was interested to see now we're in the football league how will our attendances grow because there used to be a few hundred then they've gone up a little bit can we start getting decent attendances because that was my worry about this do you hit a wall because you, you're just not getting the ticket sales in and, you, and we might do this might be our level but anyway Let's jump forward now to the first of Jan and get stuck into this episode. And can you believe it? I'll be honest with you, I couldn't. It's been a random season now when it comes to form at this stage. But second. Now, one thing, and it's going to be a running theme for the season is we're winning a good amount of games. But we're losing games. A few. It's the draws. We just don't like to draw. But I've got the best player in the league, James Price. Third highest goal scorer. That kid, shit, he hasn't got a minimum feed. And that is one thing I forgot to say. Them young players that came in, I don't know if it's because we're in the, the league now, they all wanted minimum fees. Really pathetic minimum fees I couldn't get rid of. Gordon Brown's my only worry because I do like him a lot. Colby Moore there with the assists. Them two together are refined. They just work. Do you know what I mean? So how have we done it? Well, we went out the blocks about 429 miles an hour winning 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 lost won a couple and then i went on the run and i thought reality's coming in now everyone's figuring us out but no not change the thing just sticking with it i'm just constantly picking my best team i don't care about happiness or anything i went on the best run ever not only that look at some of these look at that owen hesketh everyone loves owen hesketh I mean, look at that one defeat. <laughs> I've enjoyed myself so much, but it was the attendances. So let's have a quick look at some of them. One and a half thousand, one and a half thousand, two thousand, two thousand. Check this out. Two thousand one. I mean, we are growing in fans. Are we ever going to get 30,000 a week? No. I mean, I can't see it. Could that happen over time? I don't know if I've never done it, I don't think. Um, I've had clubs that have grown from maybe a 10,000 to a 30. 
But we started off with a small, small fan base, but it's grown, hasn't it? Yeah, unlike our bank balance, which I'll show you at the end in one painful look. So this is a squad arranged by Vidrace, and of course I've got a lot of unhappies and people asking to play more. I've got 26 players here, and like I said, I'm just playing who I think is my best week in, week out. Um, so if you change it to appearances, eventually, there we go, Booty, there we go. Kobe Moore, Beast, beat it at left back, brilliant. Ahmed, just crawl into his new position. I love it. Scotty on the left, Sisuho, who's unhappy to so start more games. What's he missed? Three. Little pleb end. Um, but yeah, James Price, fantastic player. Um, Gordon Brown down here suspended at the minute, but he's only a young lad playing his first proper football. Got some here, I love it. It's happening quicker. I was really wanting, you know, I, th I thought I felt like after three years in the North, this was going to be a series where after eight and nine episodes, I might finally get him in the league. It was going to be a bit more, but it, you know, you can't help but play the game and you find these players on a free and it kind of works. We need 4 4 2 works. It's just working. I ain't going to complain. You just put your team out, you win games, you freaking win games. Um, but this is the cat, this the size of this club will hit that wall. If we do get promoted this year, which would be bonkers to go back to back promotion, I fucking got it at war. I need to wear a war. I, I can't lie, part of me would love like a relegation battle where it's the last game of the season and I've got a win to stay up. That will happen to me one day, but I'll just play the game my way. Well, there we're now at April the 1st and we have dropped a little bit. We're still in the playoffs in fourth. We're a point behind Colchester. MK Dons at top with Wimbledon. How mad's that? If you know your history, you know, you know what them two teams mean to each other, battling it out there. But we're still in the playoffs, which is absolutely bonkers. But you can see we've won 26, which is good. Um, but we've lost 12. More than twice as many as MK Dons. We've just not drawn as many. I've drawn four games. And pretty similar to Rochdale, really, with four points behind us. James Price, James Price, third, still in the goal scoring charts. What a player. Louis Sharp, look at his hair. Look at it. It's the same one. Look at that. The regens are still shit. I am so badly hoping FN25 with its new match engine gives us something better than that. We're starting to deserve better, don't we? Especially fucking regen faces. This is the league results since the new year, and it's been tougher. You know, maybe you do get figured out, you know, and you do start to pick up injuries and so on. But like I always say, it's not an excuse. We've done enough, I think, so far at the beginning of the season with that fantastic run of non-stop greens. Um, so, you know, it's, it's got a bit more real, I think, the back end. What about the Papa John's Trophy? Well, we finished third in our group. It's a random little tournament, isn't it? I mean, we didn't do too bad. A bit Accrington on penalties, a bit Wolves on penalties. I don't think you get this. it's a point system in it. I don't really care about it. I'll be honest with you, so we're out. Carabao Cup, we got done in <laughs> big time <laughs> by Notts County. Defensive masterclass. Ed Bellucci in goal, though. He's pissing off on a free at the end of the year. And the FA Cup, we went straight in at the first round. Now we've done well in this, haven't we? When we're non league, become a league team and we turn turd. And we're now a five and a half thousand seat stadium. Only 2,000 seats, so I like that a lot. I like that a lot. People standing up, cheering. You can have a beer at Curzon, and that's what makes it even more... You couldn't do that at Old Trafford or anywhere in the Premier League. You're not allowed, are you? You can, not, not, but not on the stand. At Curzon, you can go to the bar, get yourself a pint, walk around wherever you want. You can keep moving. When I went to the game for the match day vlog, I stood behind the goal, then we went and stood in the standing one, then we went behind the other goal, then we sat down for a bit, then we went behind the goal, and we just kept moving around. It was great. I absolutely loved it. So we've got four games left to play. We've got Accrington, Stanley. Who are they in eighth uh, away? We've got MK Dons, a big one. Top, top, top of the league at home. Uh, Crew Alexander away, who are in 12th, and Wickham Wanderers at home in 15th. Let's find out what's going to happen here. Well, we beat Accrington Stanley 3-2 um, away. Fantastic game. Really enjoyed it. The next two, though, not so much. We got beat off top of the league at home 3-1 and Mr. Moore had a shocker, unfortunately. And then we got beat by Crew. Got battered off Crew. Defence fell to shit. I, I mean, look at that defence. We are struggling squad-wise at the minute. Going into the last game, I've got major worries and major pressure because somehow... 
We're third, right? Actually sitting in an automatic promotion spot. Right, a point ahead of Colchester, and of course we've got to play Wiccan Wanderers, who are down there in 15th. At home, one game, I could win and bypass the freaking playoffs, and we'd be up into the Sky Bet League 1, which is mental, right? But, look at the state of this. So, I know he's short, but I love him. Susuho is injured. Nick Shaw has been brilliant, especially recently, my new young midfielder. He's injured. James Price, 20 goal, little Curzon the Nash, wonder kid, injured. Michael McCarthy has played a ton for me. Little new right back, central defender, injured. Not only that, Jack Tierney, who's a sub player injured, so let's forget about that one. But this one, Kobe Moore, carrying a fucking injury. The two best strikers and the goals, gone. And we've got one game to get ourselves up over in the playoffs. And then look at the rest of it. Look at all these. He's leaving. I know me, is it Bella Bocelli or whatever? He's going to be buggering off. Wants to play more games, wants to play more games. So whatever happens, stay up, go down, playoffs, whatever. It will be revamp time. But I wanted to give a lot of them a chance, even though a lot, I knew a lot of them wouldn't play. And I knew I was going to go into the season just picking my, what I thought was my best team. I've not got that luxury of, oh, it rotate. With Curzon fucking Ash, didn't know what to do the best I could every single game. Wickham Wanderers, who we played once, and that was earlier this year, um, away from home, and we won. But a much better team on the pitch when I beat them. I'm genuinely, I'm actually like, I feel like a cup, it's like a cup final. So, welcome to the same size stadium, 5,500 capacity. Absolutely love it. You get proper graphic now, don't you? We're in the EFL. Check that out. Right. There we go. Big game, this. Get promoted. Pretty special, wasn't it? I mean, it's been an epic season. Just one win away. I mean, a draw could do us if results go our way, but I want to win. And here we go. So, yes, I've been back to work for three days. Um, and... <laughs> We do call it the peasant wagon. Now, the majority of people get a bus are fine. Great people. Just normal people. Can't drive maybe for an issue or a car. Normal, good people. Go to work, go to school, go to college or whatever. Yeah, good people, normal. But on a bus, you're going to meet dickheads, right? All the time. I mean, I've told a million stories here. I'd only been back in work two hours. I'd done a school bus and then I was doing a bus called the 368 from Stockport. It goes through Cheadle. Um, I think it's heel, is it heel green into a Wivenshaw bus station. I've come out of Wivenshaw bus station. You have to drive for a little bit of a council estate to get out of Wivenshaw. Now, if, if you're just in the road, we're not a taxi. By law, we're not allowed to stop and pick you up randomly. Right? You've got to be at a bus stop or our insurance isn't on. But here's my lawn. Check that out. Hesketh is on the pitch. Of course he is. Can he win us a ball back? No. Uh, Rooney, Rooney, Rooney. But BT, we'll pick this back up. So I'm going to come from this. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, so I'm driving. It's freezing at the minute here. It's like minus eight this morning. Um, felt like it. <clears throat> and there's a guy in between two bus stops waving his arm. And I don't have to stop for him. And I normally I wouldn't. But do you know what? For some reason, and I don't know why, I was weak for this one moment. I thought, do you know what? It's so cold. I'll be nice. So I'll pull up. And it's have it. Good effort. Um, I pull up for him. I don't have to. I open the doors and he goes, all right, mate, instant attitude. When's the next 368? I was like, what, you pulled me over to ask me about other buses? I thought you needed the bus, mate. I said, there's a bus stop down there with a timetable on it. Go and look at that. You're fucking what? Like, venomous in his eye, right? You're fucking what? You're the bus driver and you don't know the timetables. I'm like, no, why would I? We basically, right? Get our bus and drive it. I might know bits roughly, but do you think I'm some kind of gimp? I'm going to sit there and research. Every, I didn't say this, but every single bus. I drive 36 different buses. Every single one of them. Every timetable from fucking six in the morning to one in the morning. Every time and memorize it. We have Rio with one nil down. Bastard. We've had timetable rewrites. We've had three since September. No, I don't know. No, I don't. It's like, you fucking idiot. You're a fucking mo so scream venomous, right? Now a lot of the time I try and stay calm in my old age. 
up or something. I snapped in my first day back. I thought, I do not deserve this. I don't deserve it, right? I had two students on upstairs, that was it, luckily. So I've, I've got off. Right, and I quite I can quite trick people, I think, because I'm six foot three, but my height's in my legs. When I sit down, my body's quite I'm weird. My body's like oh my god, another two nil down. My body's like normal size. Alright? So I get out of my cab, I get out of the bus, and I walk to him, nose to nose, right? But he won't nose to nose, because he's probably about here. Now I'm not saying size matters, but it's one of the moments where someone goes, Oh shit, he's actually got out of the cab. And he looks up at me and he's all that venom and anger just went flushed away, right? And he's like that. I went, mate, right? Because obviously you can't hear me now on the, on the microphone in the bus. I went, listen, pal, you spoke to me like that anywhere else in my life and I'd put you through that fucking wall. I swear to God, who do you think you are talking to me like that? Gross, get some respect, basically, do you know what I mean? And I swear to God, right? Wait, go, Scott, go, Scotty. Oh. I swear to God, he just burst into tears, right? I swear. And starts going, my cat's dying. I've got to get my cat and take it to the vets to be put down. I'm sorry. And I'm like, I didn't know whether to laugh. I'm thinking, that's genius. Have you just thought that up? Could you think I'm going to smack you one? But I, I don't know what I was, I was just like, I don't care. Mate, the way you spoke to me, I don't care if you're killing five of your cats. I said, you need to learn some respect. And I, honestly, the anger in me. On like driving back, my leg could not stop shaking. For not from just from like God, I was raging, raging. I put, I wanted to put my fist through his face. <sighs> great first day back at work and great game here. Hard time. We are getting beat one nil. I kind of expected this. Though. Second half, I've given him an ass kicking and I've made three changes. We've got Ahmed on up top, Sinclair, Trevor's little boy. He's on the left and Jordison's come on at left back for BT because then two of them were absolutely shattered and he wants me to make another change. Oh no, he doesn't. He wants me to make a change because of an injury. Now I can make a substitution, which is brilliant. So that's four now. But I don't have any strikers because I'd already made me subs at half time. So Jack Griffiths is the only player that can sort of play up there and he's a midfielder. I mean, I'm sticking with the 4 4 2 for now. I might really need to change it because of that. I'll give it till 60 minutes and we'll see. Honestly, I mean, the, the way my squad is at the minute, a lot of unhappy players. And um, I'm surprised we are where we are, especially losing my last two games we still managed to get third. <laughs> Shows what this league's all about, really. Come on, boys, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, not having Price and more is a... I mean, not having one of them would be hard. Not having them both in a, like a crucial game is tough. But we've still, they've still got it in them to beat a team like Wickham. Jordison, go, oh Jesus. But I can't wait any longer actually. I've, my little 4 4 2 has gone. So um, we've got a med on his own up top. And Jack Griffiths, who's more of a, a midfielder, attacking midfielder, sitting behind him. More familiar role. See if it makes any difference. But here comes Rooney to Wesley. If they get a second one, I think we are done and dusted. Well done. Here we go, Sinclair on the ball. He's bad touch. That was touch was shocking, Sinclair. Touched it, rolled about three foot in front of him. Let the guy take it off him. We still somehow got it. Here's Gordon Brown on a yellow to the little Brazilian. To Malon, who gives it away. And they give it straight back towards this Sinclair with shit touch again. But he gets in the box to Barnsley. Tommy Barnes. Why did I feel like he was going to pull it back? He's not, he's not. It's 1-1. One, one. Come on. Alchester <coughs> are winning. So we need to get our shit together. Shit together. Shit together. We need to score second. We're going to have some jump, 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 Jesus, they had the crossbar. Look at it, the crossbar and bounced off, didn't it? Hard to see, really. Oh, come on, Curzon. Let's have some late night, last minute dramatics. Got 15 minutes to go. We can do it. I believe in the Nash. Been a crazy season. All right, 10 minutes to go. We've gone very attacking. I've demanded some more. Usual boo theme of doing things. I'm a backfire. Oh, it could work. Plenty of time. Just one move. Right, here he is. Come on, this could be it. Get the ball to Hesketh. He loves this kind of pressure. He's a man of the... <laughs> There's a man to give the ball away, but he didn't that time. He's found Griffiths, who lays it on to Ahmed. One on one with a good game. Come on. Come on. I love it. I love this team. I love this team. Come on. I love this save. I used to get so excited. I've chilled out a bit, but this save gets me so pumped. We are back in third. I've put us back to positive. We'll leave it at that. 
And we've got seven minutes. Seven minutes of injury. Woo! No. Can't take it now. I've gone from being super excited to realizing seven minutes. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Back to back. Back to back. I'm Ed, man. I've been training him as a fucking defensive right midfielder. He's a forward player originally. And so there he proved it. He said, there you go, boss. Stick me up top on my own. I'll get you the winner. Easy peasy. And look at Griffiths. <gasps> buzzing. Buzzing, buzzing. Oh, my God. I thought last time I thought oh, it was going to get hard now. Now it's got to get hard, surely. Well, the finances aren't great and the budgets are in. 34k a week I get to spend with a transfer budget of zero. Because yes, we are in the red. Obviously expanding the stadium, lots of stuff has gone up. Player wages, I think doubled when they went professional. And bonuses, a lot. So, it is what it is. We're going up a division, maybe that'll help financially, but I'm not gonna have a lot to work with. You will give them all another chance. Well, some of them will do, definitely. They've earned it, right? But a lot of them are gonna be going, they want to leave, and maybe it's time for a freshen up, release a few of them, I see what I can pick up on a free. And my attributes have got a little bit better. Um, of course, I've got my Continental Pro now, so all that boring shit is done. I think this is pretty set. I don't know if I'll get much better than this. I don't really care, because we have achieved freaking some unbelievable things with this club so far. What, two playoffs and an automatic. So still haven't won a thing. I still haven't won anything. But I don't, I don't know what my goal is with this anymore. I thought getting to the Football League would be a dream. And here we are, going to be in League One. Taking the place of Bolton, Cambridge, Exeter and Leighton Orient. And we will end up losing, actually, won't we? Our Sheffield Wednesday link. I don't think we can be in the same division. And we've got Plymouth, Peterborough and Oxford coming down. I mean, it's going to be crazy fun. I can't believe we're there. I can't believe that. I love this team. When it comes to the moments, they, not let, they don't let me down, really, do they? So there we go. We're going to end it there. As always, thanks for joining me. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, get involved in the comments, subscribe if you're new and hit that bell. I you never miss anything I do. I'm going to get this edited now today, hopefully, and then spend the afternoon playing football manager. I think the wife's just going to chill out. She's going to be watching her crap. Um, the little man just what is watching Sonic. He's loving it on his iPad. I think that's him for the day. And my other son is building this random weird thing on Minecraft. So that's me on football manager. Get his crack in with the next one and try and get it out to you as soon as possible. But as always, thank you for your view. That is the most important thing. I love you long time. Thanks for sharing this journey with me. It's, it's getting crazy. And, and, you know, what a challenge. I'm hoping the wall will be hit next year. Financially, player-wise, the level we're at, have a bit more of a battle on our hands. Because this, this last season blew me away. The playoffs blew me away. This season, I can't believe how we ended up third. But we did, and we scraped our way through. So as always, thank you. I love you long time. I'm food. Bye-bye. Don't go missing. I'll find you if you do.